Today we're going back to basics. Hey everybody, welcome back to Simply Sarissa. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes of your time today to be with us, we greatly appreciate it. And before you go, make sure you hit like and subscribe, that greatly helps my channel out and it tells me that you like to watch this kind of content. Now today we are talking about basics in our wardrobe. Now it's really easy when you go shopping to just have fun, see everything, find bright pretty things and bring them home. But then the trouble is what do you do with those things? And sometimes it feels like you might have wasted your money or unfortunately you have pieces sitting in your closet that don't go with anything else and you just don't know how to fix that. So there are a few steps that you can take to really maximize what's in your closet and help to budget so that you spend less on clothing over time and get way more use out of what you do have. So that is something that I have been working on for several years and what I'm gonna do is go through so many of my basic pieces and explain to you where I got them about how much they cost and show you what to do with them to incorporate other things the first items that we really need to have in our closet are basic t-shirts or shirts so of course a white t-shirt this one is great I got it at H&M it is literally called H&M basics it's well under $10. I just like to find ones that fit me well, are not too thin, and um, have like a little bit of just give to them. The next basic must have in my closet are camis. Now, as you can see, I swapped out my t-shirt for my cami and that changes the look altogether. You can also layer it, which I'll be doing in just a few minutes. And basics also can mean pattern, that's okay. But you just wanna make sure that your patterns definitely go with the color scheme of whatever your wardrobe has in it. So for me, I wear a lot of camel, black, white, and blue. So animal print goes really well with most of my wardrobe, so that counts as a basic for me. White would also be a great one to have on hand at all times. White goes with almost anything. And you can even look at maybe a blush pink or your version of a nude color. Those always look beautiful under things like black and white jackets or cardigans. Before I continue on, I just wanted to make sure that you know I use the description box to give you all of the details, my sizing, any links to any items that are still available that I show you. And then I'll also give you a few links to some of the lists and things like that to help get you started on building your own wardrobe basics just in case you're still wondering like how to get that started for yourself it'll all be in the description box below but let's get right into my next item that is always in my closet it is a white button-down shirt now I'm showing you my summer version it is actually a linen blend I got it at Banana Republic um, actually two seasons ago but it has worn so well that I pull it out every summer but as you can tell even though it's just a white button-down I got the size and the fit that's just a tad bit longer so I can use it as like a summer jacket if I want to and it changes the whole entire look of my current outfit. I also love to keep one of these kind of chambray or denim looking blouses on hand as well. I use this for the exact same reason. You've seen me style these things multiple times in other videos. These go really well. You can go denim on denim. You can put it on over a dress with a skirt, tuck it in, leave it like a jacket. These types of button downs are always in my closet. Next up is what I call a grab and go sweater. This is my most current sweater that I have purchased and this is kind of it for me for this summer. I love sweaters like this. Now they don't have to be striped. Sometimes it's even better to go all black or a gray or an oatmeal. That way you can throw it on with whatever it is that you have in your closet. But just make sure it's something that's going to go with everything else that goes with your wardrobe essentials. Now for me, it is this because these are the colors that I wear. So again, I just threw this on over the cami. It's a grab and go outfit. I love having a sweater at all times that I can throw on over other items I'm already wearing and just get out the door. Next up are cardigans. Now this is my summer cardigan. I love it. I just threw it again over the cami with the jeans that I already had on. It just instantly elevates the outfit. It also covers my shoulders. I can go to dinner or lunch in this, or if I'm just grocery shopping or running into the office and I just need a little cover up, this is perfect. The second type of cardigan that I always have is what I would call a fall or winter cardigan. This is a lovely one that I got last year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. It's just a beautiful medium weight, very soft, 
open front cardigan and it is in a basic black and it is a perfect length for me but it just turned my basics from summertime into fall or early winter if you have a mild climate so i think this is really great it just elevates this look it also helps me carry into different seasons and continue to wear my same basic pieces month after month after month the next wardrobe staple is a basic black one-piece swimsuit these are so essential now i have shown you earlier in the season other swimsuits that i love and i wear them all the time but this is something that is always always in my closet and i'll tell you why these things travel beautifully they also work as tank tops in a pinch so I keep this at on hand at all times. This one happens to be a little bit pricier. I, it is the LeBlanca brand. And again, with swimsuits, I always size up. I believe I purchased this through Nordstrom. So they're always a good place to look for swimsuits. And if you already have one you love, but you know this might be a great addition, these are the types of things that you may be able to wait on a little bit and uh, keep it in your cart or wait for a sale to happen. And then you can just add this in to your wardrobe so that you can have it on hand for next time. When we are traveling, I well, first of all, I always do carry on only, but no matter what, and if there's ever a time I don't, this is the type of thing I keep in my bag that goes with me on the airplane because it doubles as undergarments, it doubles as a shirt, and it's also a swimsuit. So that is just like a few less things I would have to buy in an emergency or if my luggage was lost. These things you can wear literally anywhere Wear and not ever feel uncomfortable. You know, they're the type of thing that if you had to leave shorts on, you could. If you're at the water park with your family, you're not going to worry about anything falling out or hanging out. Um, if you have to go to maybe a company picnic or something that you don't really feel like showing off all the goods, the black swimsuit one piece. It's your ticket. Next up, we're gonna say linen. Linen is always in my closet, especially for bottoms. So uh, you may remember these. I ended up buying two pair. I bought the beautiful, really kind of a beautiful wash of a blue in a linen blend. And then I also have the black linen blend shorts. These came from Old Navy. And really by far, this is my favorite place to buy linen blends. I also have black linen pants that I purchase from there every season. And I think they're amazing. Those are just really basic bottoms that keep me going throughout the spring, summer into very early fall. And what I love about this blue in particular is that Try as I might, jean shorts don't really work for me very often. I do have one pair of jean shorts, but truth be told, I don't like even wearing those all day long. They just move wrong on me with my body type. So this is a great alternative to like a jean short, and it also elevates the look just a little bit so that if I put on my white top with my white cardigan or something similar to that, then I would feel really comfortable going out to a nice lunch or walking around town in this, and I wouldn't feel quite so dressed down as I would if I had jean shorts on. Now let's talk about pants and jeans. I currently have about three types of jeans that are always in my closet one pair I've actually had for about four years so that tells you how long they really have to stay now the first pair are just a really nice well-fitted comfortable pair of blue jeans and that can vary based on what your style and your body type is the ones I'm currently showing and wearing are uh, from the brand Everlane. They just have jeans that fit my body type well. I believe they are the 90s cheeky jeans that I'm just kind of in love with right now. Uh, they're not for everyone though. They are the ones that kind of cut off at the ankle and they do have an like unfinished hem. So I know that those aren't something that you could wear to like casual Friday or whatnot. So definitely just find a really good fitting, comfortable, flattering pair of jeans and they will just take you so far in your wardrobe. Uh, you know, if you've been watching my videos, this wasn't the easiest task. You know, white jeans are a little harder to find because you need them to not be see-through, not show every lump and bump, still fit your body well, and you don't want to pay a million dollars for them. So these ones actually came from Walmart. This is the free assembly brand. You do have to size up in these when they're in stock. So these are a 10. Um, I usually wear about an eight on the bottom, but white jeans, you can wear them with anything and everything that I just showed you. And then the beauty of this is 
if you do decide to kind of buy something on a whim, as long as you kind of keep it within the confines of your color scheme, whatever that may be, then you can purchase fun items like this and wear it with white jeans, you can wear it with blue jeans, or you can wear it with any of the linen items that I showed. And it just really helps you to be able to take your wardrobe further. And then when you buy splurge pieces, you already have basics at home and instantly you're you're going to have about seven outfits whereas if you didn't purchase items like this then this may sit in the closet a lot longer because you don't know what to match it with the last pair of jeans that I always have in my closet are a pair of really, really good, well-made black skinnies. Now, if you spend the money and you take care of them, they can last forever. Like I said, these are approximately four years old and they are just as dark as they were when I purchased them. I did go and I did invest in these. I actually went to, um, I believe it was seven. I went to one of their stores and I made this purchase and thankfully they were having a sale so they weren't quite as expensive as they're supposed to be, but they do have some stretch in them and they fit me like a glove and the reason why I like that is because if I was wearing a longer sweater or tunic type top these could pull off almost that leggings look but if I want to wear my shorter sweater or one of my other tops then I don't feel like I need to hide things as I would with normal leggings so just a beautiful soft well fitted pair of black skinnies really can take you a long way in your wardrobe the next piece that is always in my wardrobe is a signature blazer. Now they have changed over the years, but this is my current one and I don't see it going anywhere for a very long time. I actually found this at the Nordstrom anniversary sale either one or two seasons ago. I fell in love with the color. I just couldn't pass it up and it fits like a dream. Now that's the key to your signature blazer. It doesn't have to be neutral as long as it goes with about 99% of everything else in your essentials wardrobe wardrobe but you really want to focus on fit and how it's going to flatter your body type so I know right now there's the longer and more baggy boyfriend blazers and I styled a white one that I absolutely love but truth be told this is my type of blazer it fits me a lot better it actually has a tiny bit of a puff sleeve so it kind of gives me a little bit more width here and balances my body type out it has a really soft little button that I I can pull it in and cinch it in if I want to. It has little light pockets and look at the placement for me. It hits a lot higher so I'm not dealing with a lot of extra fabric. So that's all I have to say as far as your signature blazer. Just make sure that it's one that you feel amazing in. You feel super powerful in. You feel like it's a showstopper. That's what you want in your closet. The next item would be a beautiful pair of slacks. Now I go with black slacks, that's just how it is, but you could also consider maybe a dark navy or a brown depending on your essentials and what color schemes you're going with. But for me, black is always the way to go when it comes with these because you can put them on with literally anything else and it goes really well and you can wear it for any season. It's just always that go-to look that you can do for anything. So what I did was I actually knew that I needed some new ones and that I had them on my list. So during my shopping hauls, I actually go through clearance items for off season pieces. And if I already know in my head what I need and what I'm looking for, I can find a great deal. These came from the loft when I did my last loft haul. I paid approximately $8 for these beautiful, beautiful slacks. And they're probably some of the best fitting ones I've had in years. They have a beautiful length. So this is what I look for in my slacks. I want them to be flattering. I need them to be a nice length that I can wear with heels or flats. I, they wanna, I want them to fit me like a glove. I don't want them bagging and sagging in weird ways. I don't want a lot of business going on in the back because I like everything to be smooth and clean in that area. And I like them just to be able to have a top. This is just my cami thrown over it even. And nothing is popping out, but it does have uh, room for a belt if I'd like to tuck something in and belt it. So black slacks, 
always in the closet. So it's no secret that I love dresses and I actually have quite the collection. If there is anything that I can't stop myself from buying, it's a good dress. And that's because it's an instant outfit and I always feel a little bit more put together when I wear a dress. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a dress inspired video. Maybe I can show you my collection or show you how I shop for dresses. Let me know in the comments if you want that kind of a video. But in the meantime, I'm gonna narrow it down to one type of dress. And that's because it's always in my closet in some form or another. And it's the t-shirt dress. Now this one is my current favorite and go-to because it is long. So if you see that, it goes not quite to my ankles, but almost. It has a few fun details. It actually has that like rolled hem. It has a slight V-neck and it's a little bit more of a cap sleeve with the rolled hem as well. It also has side slits on both sides. And even though it's so lightweight, it's 100% organic cotton. And I have had this since last season. I've worn it well into the fall. I wore it as soon as I could in spring and I wear it all summer long. Now the thing about uh, this brand is it is Pact, and Pact is really well known for being sustainable and for using organic and cleaner fabrics. So this was a little bit more of an investment, but Pact is always running sales. I'll leave their information below. They're a good place to go for things like this, beautiful basics, and you can also find t-shirts, you can find underwear, you can find joggers. They have great stuff, and I love what their company believes in. Next up, the jean jacket. Now, you know, some of us have had jean jackets since we were about 12 years old. And there's just something about a jean jacket that you just can't go wrong. Now this one, I'm going to guesstimate, is about 13 years old. I actually found this at Costco, if you can believe that. And I'm gonna show you another one that I got last year at Costco. They, the, uh, the thing about these are, again, just like a blazer, you don't necessarily want to go trendy and have to buy a jean jacket every single season. You wanna buy one that fits you and fits your personal taste and personal style. And then if you spend just a tiny bit of money or you take care of it well, they can last you forever. A second option for denim would be a solid basic color of a denim jacket. Now I found this one, it's that Buffalo brand. Um, and I got this at Costco as well last season, and I think this was closer to $15 when I found it. Love, love, love this. It, this has quite a bit more stretch in it, but it is just definitely a beautiful jacket. It has been a great addition to my wardrobe, and I wear this constantly as well, especially spring and summer. Next up is the Moto jacket. Now I'm starting off with my oldest and probably most beloved piece that's in my closet. This is an Alfani jacket that I happened to find off season when I was uh, shopping several years ago. This probably is hitting close to uh, 15 years old now at this point. I got it before the birth of my first child. <laughs> Look at this. So this does go to show you if you spend a little bit more money and you know what you want, then a piece can really truly live in your closet for years. So this is my like, ride or die moto jacket and of course with the color it literally goes with everything and this kind of started it all for me with trying to build a capsule wardrobe and something that i could consistently use year after year however there are no rules and of course you can get a moto jacket in other color options but yet again as you can see I've talked about these. You're probably starting to get sick of talking about my jackets. This one is a vegan leather. I found this at Walmart for, I believe, under $40. It is beautiful. People don't tell the, can't tell the difference if it's leather or not. I get stopped on the streets when I wear this. It's incredible. But because of my basics, I can wear this with literally anything in my closet. And that's why I was okay with buying blue. However, if you're not, they often offer like a white, they offer neutral colors, they offer black, and you can get that true motorcycle jacket look. But I know me, and when I wanted one with all the bells and whistles, I knew if I got a black one, it would feel a little harder for my current wardrobe and so that's why I went with the fun color and the vegan leather because it was not super spendy in case for some reason I freak out and decide I don't need a blue one later but at the same time it just adds some really fun punch to my current wardrobe 
Now, again, this one, uh, some people might say this is definitely the trendiest one that I've purchased because of the cut and because of the puff sleeve. However, if you notice, I always wear puff sleeves. So just how is that to thine own self be true? <laughs> That's exactly what this is for me. And so I knew this wasn't a waste of money. Yes, it's leather. Yes, it's a little over $100, but I often wear this tone with a lot of my white and my black and my blue. And I always wear puff sleeves. I've done it since years ago. And so even though it's on trend now, I'm not worried if it goes out of trend next year because this works for me. So if you are going to invest in a beautiful jacket, uh, something like a moto jacket, just make sure it's your personality. You don't need the true motorcycle one if that's just not how you dress. You know, you have lots of other options from feminine to hardcore to something in the middle of the road. All right, we did it. We are down to the last two items that are always in my closet. Yes, a trench coat. And yes, I know that if you watch any wardrobe basics, almost everyone has one of these, but it's for a good reason. I mean, look at this. I just threw it over my cami and my slacks and I instantly feel like I could be walking the streets of New York or Paris or whatever fun city that I feel like I would just blend in and look amazing in this. I feel so elevated, but yet trench coats are so practical. My grandmother had one all the time and for good reason, they work well. They do their perfect duty, but yet they make you feel put together. You have a belt that actually cinches in your waist. You never get wet. You wanna look for good quality though, and you can get them at so many price points. I have been told that H&M always carries a really good one, and um, I actually found this at Macy's, and I knew what I wanted, so again, I waited until off season, and I purchased this Michael Kors for like 75% off. So even though it's a spendy jacket, you don't have to spend money on it all the time. If you know what you're looking for, you budget and you're patient, you can find these classic pieces because they come back season after season. Now I got one with a removable hood because it is a raincoat and I did want it to be functional. So it works beautifully, it's great, it's lined. I did get the double breasted because I love it without the hood and I love it as just a beautiful fashionable piece. If I were to go to a meeting or to work and had to be uh, running around, I feel super put together in this. Last piece is a beautiful, neutral, good quality pashmina scarf. Now this is a cashmere blend. I do purchase these from Nordstrom's regularly. Now I this one I've had for approximately 12-ish years. So if you do take care of them, they last forever. But of course I did buy like a thicker one in a different color and you know, black is always a good color to have as well. So pashminas, you cannot go wrong. Pro tip, they also make perfect gifts. So the anniversary sale is coming up. I'd probably, probably earmark those a little bit. And if you could get your hands on some of these pashminas during the anniversary sale, you might want to jump on that. All right. So I have the camel one. They are just a beautiful length. I qualify them as clothing and not accessories because if you are freezing cold or you just have your cami on or whatnot, you can use these obviously as like a shawl and do like the whole cover up thing. You can wear these with dresses, pants, anything else. Of course, during the winter time, I believe there's actually something called a Nordy knot, which let me see if I can remember it. Um, you put it on and it just elevates your look. So again, I'm wearing all of my basics right now. I've got my cami, I've got some nude shoes, I've got my black cardigan, my black slacks, but look at this, it just changes the outfit altogether. And I would feel super work appropriate walking into the office or to a classroom or wherever it is that I need to go. These things are game changers, they do all the work for you. They also fold up beautifully and go into your bag or your carry-on so they make perfect blankets when you're traveling. You cannot go wrong with a pashmina. So this does it for me in my closet essentials for my wardrobe and my workhorse pieces. Let me know in the comments below what some of your pieces are that you just cannot live without. And until next time, I'll see you soon.